The life we live is measured by the impact we make on other people's life. Archbishop Clayton's Bassi's 60th birthday party, which planned from 5th to 7th February 2022, was a testimonial celebration of his impact on earth as a man of no mean repute. Royal fathers, political class, and captain of industries came in their numbers to celebrate the God's General Clayton's Bassi. The 60th birthday of His Grace Archbishop Clytus Bassi started with praise and worship with electrifying atmosphere as the people of God danced to register gratefulness, appreciation, mercy and grace and love for sustaining the clergy Clytus Bassi. by the choir rendition and grand entrance of the celebrants led by the creative art admit jubilation and fanfare by the church. Yes. At the event, the Aquibum State Governor, Mr. Udom Emmanuel, who was represented by his deputy, Mr. Moses Ekbo, said the story of Aquibum State will continue to be glorious because of the prayers of the churches. He also thanked God for the clergy and called for the name of God to be praised.
Senator Akone Yarini, the cake designer, ushered the celebrant to cut the cake while she expressed how her family had been transformed years back through the help of the man of God. The seventh year cake there stands for donations for all the souls that God has given to him, to father, to mentor, and by the special grace of God, this game will continue to increase, to multiply year in, year out in Jesus' name. And on the knife that you use in cutting, that knife sir, signifies the Bible, the word of God that you've been using to cut every wow whoa 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 they found it it was hidden that's a man that is diligent a man that is committed a man that is ready to stoop low to search the scripture and to bring out the truth bishop mike led you call the people of god to look for God's grace, grace is unmerited favor, but I call it divine influence as grace takes away disgrace. Large so I want to say that there are things you don't, you don't know. That when the people were passing, it was a part of them. One day, they sent a car to him, British Road. When he came, he said, Every person that has had to have a great person. What had been happened? There was another person that had just been. That was as a uh, doctor, a man of God. Why did he say that to you? This was a pastor, this was a When he went to the temple, he said, when he came back, whenever he came back from the zone, the majority, the whole night he went to the temple, and then take back in this house again. But God told him, no, you have never turned on that sky, in an altar. He said to who? He was being called his, his people. He said, you know what my God bless you of this day? It was then that they were looking for that young man at that time, Pastor Bless Pass. Oh, it was Pastor. It was Pastor Bless. I thought so. Then he corrected that Pastor Bless Pass. It was very good to think a great man of God, Pastor Bless Pass, that 
I told you, you be a bystander in the sterility and the right of state. So no wonder that he left when he when that thing came away from him. It was it was a word that was spoken. So said the Spirit of God. Then the person, it was it was it was in fact set forth to the proper of state. And now he is a man to wash that right of state. And as today, it is and the ambassador is an ordinary and beneficiary to an Abuja based gospel minister who was rest at the Destiny International Mission, Precious Emmanuel, said the tone of the event while re echoing happy 60th birthday to Cletus Bassi. Papa A. E. Oro gave exaltation on giving to God and charged the people of God to give to the work of God as God will bless those who sow to his work. The member of the church sent their facilitations and goodwill messages from the media, men, youth and women as the mark of transformation and the blessings of obedience in their lives. Your grace, the father of our father, your grace, our father, the celebrants, other invited guests, headship of destiny, international missions, ladies and gentlemen, I feel blessed to stand here on behalf of all our young adults to say one or two about our Father. Right. Thank you so much for knowing us. On behalf of all our young people, I bow my knees and I bow my hearts. To tell God, thank you for the gift of you. And then thank you for taking the call of God. We all the respect I have for you, sir. Just turn around. Look behind you. Turn around, sir. And behold the results of your labor. Behold the fruit of your obedience. Happy sister, brother. There is grace for to grace. God bless you, sir. Blessing you, defenders. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, The children and the teenage church set the atmosphere for the event with a grand papa acronym to the celebrant and presentation of happy birthday song to his grace Archbishop Cletus Bassi.
the gospel icon minister Bobby Fragan stepped up the 68th birthday with a special song, I'm in the world, Jesus, Aken Yangade, as the people of God stood in adoration and reference to God for the gift of life, grace, mercy upon his life. <laughs> Reverend Mrs. Angela Oshun proclaimed the goodness, grace, and mercy upon the life of God's servant. Oshun reiterated that we are gathered to celebrate a man who obeys God and is diligent in service to God and man. In his life, he cannot forget. He does not because that is the turning point of what he is today celebrating. The day that he was 17 years old and Jesus Christ physically walked into a tiny room in the Duran, called him by the name his mother called him a devil. I did not create him to be a wizard. I created him to be a preacher. He wants the people to know when Jesus met with him. And secondly, he wants you to know that what Jesus does for one, he does for another. If you're here today, you're just celebrating a man and not understanding the story behind the man, you have missed it all. If you celebrate this man today and you go back and remember when you came, something is missing somewhere. His hope, his belief this morning is that you who have come to sit here to celebrate and bear witnesses of the things that God has done through him for you, that you too can go back and be even much more. We are living in a world that people are very ungrateful. We are living in a world that people have become you know, themselves. People are no more appreciative of the Holy God. It's recorded in the book of Romans chapter 1. Time will tell me to begin to quote scripture. But there are many people who are living as ingrates. They think that it's their connection, their education, their beauty, their excellence, their power that has made them. No, no, no. The Bible tells me it's 100, it says 127. It says, except the Lord builds the house. That man has been built by God. The Bible says, except the Lord. No man. He's calling you not to talk about him because his fame is about the Lord. Talking about King Solomon in the book of 1 Kings chapter 10. He said the fame of King Solomon went abroad concerning the name of the Lord. Take away the name of the Lord is just an ordinary man. Take away the grace of God is an ordinary man. He's gathering here. Get the message clear, I beg you. As you go back, just know that there is a man whom God has turned his life around. He's making you to see the openness of God. And this God is available to you. Available to change your story. Available to heal, deliver, set you free. Available to give you a name amongst men. Reverend Mrs. Lucia 
testify of the grace, mercies, and kindness of God over the years, and that the hand of God over their affair was so strong. Destiny International Mission Mass Choir spies the occasion with timely ministration. Yes, His Grace Archbishop Clytus Barsi extolled God for sustaining him, his ministry, and family while he reiterated his love for God. Be on to you. Yeah. 